Hello everyone and welcome to Rob's Rogues and today we're taking a look at the Batman Power Attack Deluxe Combat Smash Robin. So I'll back the camera out here a little bit and here he is in full package. And uh, like I had said earlier in my two previous uh, reviews for Batman and Robin, if you go back to Rob's Rogues 98 for the Batman and Rob's Rogues 61 for the Robin standard figures, I don't know why I did standard for that, but the standard figures um, for the Batman Power Attack, I had said I wasn't going to be purchasing a lot of these uh, figures. Um, I just kind of wanted to have, you know, Batman and Robin of the series, and uh, this Robin caught my eye here. Um, what really caught my eye is the bright yellow cape, which, which, <laughs> which I wish, that was a mouthful, uh, the Robin that I've got out here off to the side that you can probably kind of see right here um, has a black cape. I wish they would have given him a yellow cape. Um, that I really like it for the yellow cape. And then the other feature that it does, you can kind of see right here on the box, it says uh, squeeze leg. So the way this box is made, there is, I don't really even call it a box. Um, so there's the profile. It's just a, you know, two pieces of cardboard, you know, folded over here, and you can clearly see the figure, and there's a uh, Robin there, which I won't uh, get too much more into that until uh, we get him out of the packaging, and normally I don't do an unboxing review. Normally uh, some of us that do reviews will kind of show you the package, pause the camera, come back and have him out of package, but with it being Christmas time, uh, those of you out there that have kids, my wife and I don't yet, so I'm the only big kid in the house, uh, that your kids will probably get a Christmas gift at some point during the holidays and say, Mom, Dad, take this out of the package. And this is where you as an adult will look at it and go, okay, how do I start getting this out of the package? So that's kind of how we're going to do this one. Um, and I thought this was kind of interesting. Um that they did away with a lot of the plastic that you have on figures and it's almost straightly all strictly all cardboard with the exception of some plastic molded pieces that are holding on to a leg here going around his waist and everything's kind of all connected the two face cutout thing here is in a cardboard or a plastic piece and then a robin staff down here so i'm kind of curious how to go about tackling this hopefully this is going to be okay for a review to do. Got my blue handled scissors here. So I was kind of looking at this before I turned the camera on of how I was going to tackle this. So we're just going to kind of go right into it. And that's pretty much like I thought it was going to be. Um, just one giant piece of cardboard that uh, just kind of folded over and there's all of the twist ties and tape and everything that's on there holding Robin onto the back so we'll kind of do some of this this way uh, the twist ties really weren't holding much on of course this is the part of the review I'm always like wow that's really loud why are we doing this but I thought it'd be kind of fun and uh any of you that are parents out there are probably going to be experiencing this quite a bit with your kids of on Christmas morning, or especially if you're at a grandparents and they want to open that new gift that they just <laughs> got out and you're like, oh, not here, you know, wait till we get home. And I was one of those kids too. I don't want to wait till I get home, especially if it's something that they really want to play with. And of course you'll have grandma or grandpa or an aunt or an uncle or whoever you're at like, Oh, Go ahead, I'll, I'll help you old help you open it, or me being Uncle Robbie. Um, I'm always looking at my nieces and nephews going, sure, why not, I'll help you open it. Meanwhile, my sisters are looking at me like, Rob, why are you doing that? It's going to be a lot of pieces and a lot of time. And I'm like, I don't mind. I want to play with them. So I think Robin should, if I got this all correct, hopefully I can get just enough of the pieces out to get him out of the package. Yeah, this is going to be a fun review, Rob. You know what? Tearing is also an option. And with this line, I don't know why they did it, but they started... If you can see the... Uh, 
little tag right there that they have a cape clipped into, which that's not even really, there it is. I'm not a big fan of this. Got to clip this little clip. There we go. So Robin is out of package. As you can see, there's this nice little hole. It really shows up on the yellow cape. I wish they would. I wish they wouldn't do that with the cloth cape figures and kind of see if it's wrinkled. So that'll be something else to talk about in just a little bit. But I think we're just going to go to the old-fashioned. Let's just rip this thing off. Yeah, this is really professional, Rob. It's uh, ripping and tearing, just like on Christmas morning. <laughs> This is also to pre prevent stealing in the store because if you've got to go to this much trouble, you're going to be like, you know what? This little piece of cardboard is not worth it. There is that. Whoa. We've got Robin's staff here. We'll just rip this all to heck and back. Yeah, normally I don't like doing this just for this sound, but hey, it's Christmas time. Woohoo! All right. So we've got all these pieces. We're looking at a blank screen, which is what you don't want to have on your channel is dead air. Nothing to, for the viewer to look at. So as chaotic as that was, here is the Power Attack Robin figure. Drop the camera down a little bit. I gotta tell you, I do like this Robin. Um, it's kind of a cute little Robin. Cute little. Um, we'll bring up his counterpart and right away I noticed that the deluxe version is taller than the normal version of Robin, which also means the deluxe Robin is taller than Batman. And he just looks like a bulkier figure. I really liked the uh, bright yellow in the cape and thought, oh good, I'll have this Batman and Robin stand together. I, I probably still could um, but you know the scale for the two figures doesn't quite match up like the scale for these two even though this Robin is still almost as tall as uh, this Batman and from this profile for the people that are reading the New 52, this kind of does look like Red Robin from the New 52. So, uh, we'll slide these two guys out. And for another size comparison, um, the DC Collectibles Batman. Now, these two look a little bit, kind of give you a little bit size size scale comparison. I believe this Batman is pushing uh, seven inches and he's taller than a DC UC figure. So there you go. But the accessory and the gimmick, the uh, he does come with a staff here. And you can kind of see the hand here. Same head sculpt as before. Let's bring up the other Robin here. This Robin, uh, his skin tone's a little bit uh, darker. I think it works a little bit better than this particular Robin. Looks a little too pale here. But the uh, cool thing I thought about this was it reminds me of the Superpowers figures, those of us that remember that from back in the day and trying to get it in this little hand here. You can kind of see this peels up here a little bit. I'm kind of a little worried about that. But the hands are kind of rubberish. So the gimmick is you squeeze Robin's leg and you're supposed to get the uh, twirling action. If I can get my big dumb hands out of the way, which is kind of hard to do. And kind of hard to hold on to and get it up set up at the same time, but nice little gimmick. So the uh, staff is a little bit uh, on the heavy side, so getting the leg to pop back out 
have to force it back open, but pick up a little bit of speed and maybe Robbie can take off and fly. So that's pretty cool that the leg is connected somewhere here to the torso and comes around to the arm that the arm will then pivot out and he turns around at the waist. So nice little, it kind of, like I said, reminds me of the superpowers and um, a nice little extra feature for some of the kids, which this line is really kind of geared towards. And it comes with a uh, little cardboard stand that Robin can practice with down in the uh, bat cave in case he faces two face for real. So you would potentially set this up and knock it off. So a nice little gimmick. This was uh, $11.99 at Walmart. So wasn't at all too bad. Um, the articulation on this figure is the thing that is kind of lacking. Um, the leg has no move at all. There is a little joint of some type here but I think that is also that's part of the housing that is inside to make Robin turn and spin uh, this arm does go um, all the way back around the head turns there's a full 360 that's it this arm doesn't really move on its own when you do the waist turns the leg moves so the only articulation that really happens is when you squeeze this leg. And again, uh, the Batmobile and the Batcave playset that Batman and Robin can set down in, this Robin won't do that because he has no leg articulation. Where this is, uh, in the truest sense of the word, he is strictly an action figure. Um, any of the acting you want to do to get Robin to set into the Batmobile or Batcomputer is going to be this particular Robin. Um, I was talking about this Robin earlier, and I wish that they would have given this Robin a yellow cape. I thought that would have been really cool. Uh, this one really stands out, I think, aesthetically, the way this is painted and looks in the cape. I do like this one quite a bit. It's got a nice little gimmick, and maybe if I had seen this one first, I may have just bought this one on its own. But... There you go, there's a look at the Power Attack Batman line from Mattel. And we've been taking a look at the, as I'm looking off camera here to try and see what it was called, the Combat Smash Robin. So as always, this is Rob for Rob's Rogue signing off and saying we will see you guys next time. Happy holidays, everyone.